Would you look at all these custom WWE action figures? And we're not even going to stop. We're just going to get straight into it. And the first one up you guys have seen before. It is this custom Sammy Guevara figure. I've posted this on TikTok. I've now posted it here. And I've already done an action figure match with it. And I'm in the process of Seth Rollins versus Sammy Guevara for the next action figure match. Which this figure will be used in. But anyway, what I have used is the Unrivaled Series 5 head scans. We don't just have uh, that one. We have the Screaming one as well. And I used double jointed arms. I believe they're Seth Rollins. And the body is just a Daniel Bryan. Now, I do have one flaw with this figure. And it is... That my boot pops off because I shaved way too much on the inside. So this is kind of a pain to film with. But it's not like it falls off. Uh, and yeah. I should probably redo the logo there. The Sammy Guevara is not centered. Uh, but that looks good. Everything else looks good. So let's get on into the next custom figure. The next custom figure is not really a custom figure, it's more of a fix-up, but this is the Elite 28 CM Punk. I do not remember a time where he wore the trunks and black kick pads, so this is now, instead of the Elite 28, this is now the SummerSlam 2013 attire where he faced Brock Lesnar. I just did the boot designs. Let's get a closer look at at them camera wants to keep effing up but either way I think they came out pretty damn good and yeah that's all I did to this figure next up we got this custom John Moxley and I cannot wait to use this figure it is the Unrivaled Series 2 head scan on a Ruthless Aggression Elite Stone Cold body. I don't remember what the series is from it. And the jackets from Unrivaled Series 2. The chains from the Stone Cold. But as you can see there, I do have his tattoo there. I have his tattoo right here. Is there any more tattoos? Uh, I believe he has one like right here or something. But I didn't add that. Because it was difficult. And I mean the rose looks good. And the side looks good. So. And plus the one that I didn't add is his most recent one. So. Doesn't really matter to me. At least he has some tattoos. The next custom figure up I bought off of, uh, was it eBay? Might have been Mercari. I've done an unboxing on this one on TikTok. The vest, or the jacket is from a Supreme CM Punk. I just threw it on there. It didn't come with that. But either way, this is the Sting Attire CM Punk. He used a decal for the face, he said. All of this is decal work. And as you can see down here, doesn't look the best. But it's not my work. So I can't really do anything about it. I kind of want to just keep it how it is. But either way, not that bad of a CM Punk. The next figure up, or I shouldn't even say figure, it's just a figure shirt, but I just got this figure shirt the other day. It is a white head of the table shirt. I was waiting so long for Mattel to make this and finally pulled the trigger on a custom one just because, yeah, I don't think they're going to make it. The next figure is the Bret Hart CM Punk, which you guys have seen before and I believe I used it in Sammy Guevara versus CM Punk versus Finn Balor back in the day. I remade it 
You can tell by the trunks and the beard. Uh, probably should do the, or should remake the kick pads. But, I haven't decided on that yet. And either way, it looks a lot better than it did before. Next up, we have another CM Punk, which is this in the Sting attire I got in, or at the same time, I should say. Don't know why the Punk's wobbling, but either way, same dude. Decal work's not the best. You could see the uh, decal on the butt. Here, let me pull this up. It's alright. It's not bad. The front one is probably the worst decal on this one. And then we got the CMFTR logo right there. So, yeah, not the best, but also not the worst. Let's continue the roles of the CM Punks. This is a uh, two-pack, the Blood and Guts two-pack with MJF. I wanted to make an unbloody version, and this is my unbloody version. The jacket does not look bad. Uh, the head scan, not the best. I'll probably throw on a different head scan onto it. And then, let's take the vest off. Hold up, give me a sec. As you can see, not even the torso is the best. If I was to use this custom in an action figure match, I probably would swap the torso and the head scan and then we would be all good. But anyway, that is the unbloodied CM Punk. Continuing on the trend of the best in the world, I got this CM Punk for really cheap and I decided to make the Yankees gear, considering I had the, I believe it was WrestleMania 28 Elite. Whatever one was in the wave with the build of figure, Paul Heyman, he faced uh, the Undertaker in that attire. Might have been WrestleMania 29. I think it was 29, now that I think about it. Um, but either way, this isn't the cleanest custom. I really do like the kick pads, but the trunks do not look the best. Probably will fix those up eventually. And yeah, that is the Yankees gear, CM Punk. Next up, I'm going to show off this Elimination Chamber 2023 Seth Rollins attire. I really love this figure. And the reason why I show this off here and on TikTok is because sometimes these changes to the figures like the SR logo right there when I first did it it was a different SR so yeah I really do like this Seth Rollins though it's just an Elite 98 base and yeah that's all it really is is Elite 98 repainted speaking of the Elimination Chamber 2023 we have this Austin Theory right here. This is just an Elite, his first Elite, whatever Elite series that was. I believe it was like Elite 90. Repainted. I did have a uh, different spelling on the butt. And someone pointed it out in my TikTok comments about a year ago now. So I've obviously fixed that. We have the Red Wolverine... Or, not Wolverine, but the red werewolf style attire. It says all day on the knee pads. Then now, we got that A-Town Down logo. Same thing over here. I believe this one is better than this one, in my opinion. But, yeah, we got that A-Town Down logo right there. Theory on the butt, the rips in the pants. And he is the new SmackDown tag team champion with Grayson Waller and this head sculpt does have a sculpted on beard next up we have this elite 101 ricochet where all I did to this figure was he had the short kick pads 
So I threw the longer ones on there because I saw that those were more accurate to Ricochet. And I painted them to the best of my ability. I wish I could compare them for you in this video, but you'll see what I used his kick pads for in one moment. But I think they look pretty good. Had to do a knee swap. Thankfully, I had uh, extra AJ Styles lower legs. So, yeah. Fixed up my Elite 101 Ricochet. Next up, we have this Hurt Business Cedric Alexander, which I really like. Cedric Alexander is no longer in WWE. And they're never going to make another Elite of him again, I would assume. But... So I had to get this done. You see the Hurt Business on the side. Again, I could rewrite that. I don't know why it came out like that. Um, the logo is pretty good with the little, what is that? A panther? The little cat? Whatever. And then we have his tattoos. I had a, I saw a basic uh, in stores like right as this man got released. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have an elite Cedric, so let me get an elite, or let me get this basic Cedric to use for an elite. It is a Kofi Kingston, a Kofi Kingston, the three pack, the Bootios three pack. That's all the figures. And then for the kick pads, we have the Elite 93 Seth Rollins with the extra padding i'm not sure if he wears the extra padding or not but those were the only kick pads i had at the time so that's that and yeah that's cedric alexander next up we have another cm punk which this is just a black and white attire i know it's pretty basic but i wanted to get as many cm punks done as i could because i didn't think he was coming back to wwe but now that he's back in WWE, I kind of tried to transition into doing more of his AEW attires. Which is cool because I've never done a custom figure with the AEW figures until now. Well, custom painted figure. Anyway, getting back on track, we have the Team Hell No, Toys R Us pay-per-view build a figure, uh, Daniel Bryan... Uh, that's what the body is. The armband is from the top picks, John Cena. Any John Cena works. It's a blue armband, though. It was, I believe it was a re-release from, like, the Elite 3. That's the one I had at the time. I had this CM Punk in basic form. So, yeah, I decided to convert it into an Elite. And, yes, these are basic arms that I painted to look like the elite ones and I love the new armband molds they're much thicker and they don't break at least from what I've noticed so yeah that is the custom white Nexus CM Punk we have an N on the armband for Nexus next up we have this green and black Randy Orton which they've released a few times in basic form. But before the new basics came out. Uh, this Randy Orton was one of my most wanted in elite forms. And they never made it. So I had to make it here. All it is is a top picks 2022 I believe. Yeah I think so. Anyway that's all it is. I just painted the yellow and the green. And then the RKO is obviously painted green. And then the snakes I painted over in black. So, yeah. That's that. And I'm so glad to have this black and green Randy Orton now. Considering I had Randy Orton, I had to make the mat up. Like I was saying, considering I have the Randy Orton in the black and green, I gotta make the Matt Riddle to match him. So here's the Matt Riddle. And yeah, it's made out of the top pick wave with him, Cody, and Ray. 
or the Elite 98, whatever you want to say. We got the riddle on the butt. We got the lines down the side. The bro right there. So sad that he's not in WWE no more. Should have made custom slides for him. I could still do that. I don't know. I think he wore black slides at the time though. So I don't really see a point. But yeah. That is the bro. Matt Riddle. Hang in there with me guys. We got a few more customs to go. Next up we have this Carrion Cross. I had the head scan made already for my Elite 90, uh, 92. It was a custom of the Elite 85 attire though. I believe it's Elite 85. But anyway, this, I picked up an extra cross and threw that head on there. And then threw the head onto this one and customized this one. And then I made this in December of last year. And it works out because it's kind of what he's wearing now. As he's with the Authors of Pain and the Final Testament. And yeah, this is working well for an updated Karen Cross. The next figure we have is an all-out CM Punk. This figure was just the Walmart exclusive. I got an extra one of them, so... Figured, why not turn it into the all-out attire? One of the best attires, in my opinion. I really love the white attires that CM, Punk's, uh, CM Punk wears. I did paint the X on the hand red. Obviously, I painted the trunks and stuff. I even got a title. Spent 10 bucks on a title just for this reason. But either way, I really love this custom figure. And, yeah, let's get into the last couple. Next up is this 2011-2012 CM Punk. It was supposed to be the Halloween gear that he had in basic form. I do not have a head scan to put on this as of right now. I need to redo the kick pads. It's just been sitting on the shelf, but I need to redo this. But you could get the concept and you get the idea of what. I was going for. Oh, and again, that was a Team Hell No Daniel Bryan figure repainted. Alright, next up, we have just some legs. We have different attires for CM Punk. We have this Bret Hart one, and we have the old school red gear that he wore in AEW. The reason why I made these is because I had two extra legs from the Supremes. If you guys know me, I have three of the Supreme Punk. One displayed in the camo, one displayed in the white, and then one in box. So, the extra legs, I was like, screw it, I'll make extra tires, and this is what they are. And either way, I think I did really good on these. Let's have you guys get a 360 of the back. Next up, we have this WrestleMania 39 Seth Rollins. And for the Elimination Chamber one and this one, I need to get the new basic to swap the heads. Uh, but anyway, this figure, it's very, very simple. It's chipping, but either way, it's just paint it pink and then a few designs here and there. Not that bad of a figure. Kind of a bad attire for Seth. But, I'm not complaining. That is my WrestleMania 39, Seth freaking Rollins. Next up, we have this custom retirement edge from his last match in WWE. This was made from my Elite 94, which I still need to get another one. We have a Seth Rollins torso on it. And, I really did think that this was going to be his last wrestling match. But now he's in AEW. He's the TNT champion. And yeah. So I love this Edge figure. Or this Edge custom figure. I love the Elite 94 as well. I need to re-get that. I just haven't had the time. But anyway. You see the Edge there. You see the stars. Or the maple leaves. Whatever. You see the Edge logo there. A white and blue attire. 
It's such a nice figure. Next up, we got the Megastar L.A. Knight. And I have used a Ric Flair for this. Here, let's take the glasses off. I used a Ric Flair for this. I used a Stone Cold Lower Legs. I need to swap the boots out with uh, Cesaro. Because I do have extra Cesaro boots. Which those look more like LA Knights. But either way, still a good figure nonetheless. Here, let's get the microphone out of his hand and everything. And I do like this formula for LA Knight a lot better. You could see it says LA Knight on the butt, the little dots, the design right there. I don't know what that is, but he has it on his tights, so. Has the open black knee pads. Like I said, he still has the lace boots from the Stone Cold. But honestly, I like this figure a lot more than Mattel's Elite. Hopping into the next figure, it is this custom Matt Cardona, which I really, really love. It's, again, using a Ric Flair Elite 92. It has, uh, believe... Is it different legs? I can't remember. But besides that, it has a Zack Ryder head scan on it. And it is the Ricochet kick pads. Single jointed arms because I needed the double jointed for a different reason. It says always ready right on the back. We have the knee pads. The kick pads. And then... Why did I paint these wrist tape instead of just using wrist taped arms? Whatever. Anyway, I really do like this custom Matt Cardona. This next figure is a custom of the Knight of Champions gear that Seth Rollins wore at Knight of Champions 2023. We're getting this in basic form. Anyway, I really do love this figure. It is just Another Elite 93 Rollins. I bought a lot of that figure. And we got the sculpted on hair. We have the blue tights with the camera or camera camo or leopard print, whatever the hell. We got all the designs on it. And honestly, I think this custom came out very, very beautiful. After this custom, we got one more, but this is a custom CM Punk from a house show from back in the day. I did use uh, Stardust Torso and Crotch and Leg er, and Arms. CM Punk head scan, obviously. Elite 93 Seth Rollins uh, legs. And then the kick pads are the, the upper half is the Bootios Kofi Kingston because it that's what I had. And then the lower half, I believe it's the Elite 93 Rollins. Either way, really wanted to do this gear for a long ass time. I finally was able to get around to doing it. And this figure, man, this looks phenomenal. But with the, um, with the Seth Rollins legs, it makes them a little too tall. It makes him taller than his WWE figures, but shorter than his AEW. So, I just said F it and left it how it is. Might fix that in the future. I don't know. And the last custom figure is this Elite Custom J Uso from Survivor Series 2023. I made the Royal Rumble 2024 attire. If you go to my TikTok, you can see that. But then I destroyed it. And made it into this figure because we're getting the Royal Rumble 2024 attire in uh, Elite form. I believe it's like Elite 115 or something like that. But anyway, just got this custom Yeet shirt in from Makari. Really great Yeet shirt. I might cut it off into a belly shirt like how Jay had it. But either way, this is a Top Picks Jimmy Uso with the Elite. 106 J Uso head scan on it. Honestly, spent more money on this custom than I probably should have. I could have spent like 30, but instead I spent like 50. Uh, you can see I did the back tattoo, painted the arm sleeve blue, painted the hair blue, the beard darker. 
And then we have the eyes, which I did paint because this Jey Uso head came up with messed up eyes. We got the palm trees on there. We got everything going well. This camo gear is so sick, man. I love this figure. I'm so glad that I decided to redo it because I love this attire a lot more. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this week's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.